Hey, what's going on guys? It's me again, Jacob. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the marathon series. This is this is a series of videos post-marathon. Today I come to you with a message. I come to you with a, a passionate message and if I wasn't passionate about it, I wouldn't be bringing this video to you. So you can, you can trust in that. Uh, but if I could just get some light going here, it'd be nice. Is that enough? I reckon that's enough. So I've just got back from the gym it is, it's actually still two days post-marathon. I just made a video about an hour and a half ago in the back of this van talking about how the marathon went and talking about how I felt and how I felt the race went mentally. And then I thought about how my feet felt and how my, my calves felt and how my legs felt and I, I kind of explained that to you guys and I, to be honest, I feel like I was being a bit of a pussy. I, I kind of, I, I thought back to, to, to the likes of David Goggins and and this kind of stuff that he says and the kind of stuff that he's pushed his body through and and the kind of stuff he says about how you know your mind is always going to be a lot stronger than your body does that make sense or is it the other way around your body's going to be more stronger than no i think it's your mind's going to be more stronger than your body so that means that you know if you feel like your body's going to break down your mind can actually push you through does that make i don't even know if that makes sense to be fair but look i've got a message to share um it is it is three days post, well it's two days post marathon, sorry. Today's still Monday, November the 23rd. And um, I've, I've actually just leveled up. I honestly feel like I've leveled up. I feel like because of, I, I, I feel like a lot of people that have, have run their first marathon would most likely be feeling things similar to this as well. You know, you've, you've done that now. That's, that's, your, that's your new benchmark. You know what I mean? As far as long distance running, as far as even just 10K runs, half marathons, 20K, 5Ks, whatever you want to, Whatever you want to do, your benchmark has now been set. I've been up and working to the morning, yeah. Yeah, they've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. Yeah, and I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Broom, broom, tell them I'm my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me I can't. And it's about bettering that. And so I actually just went to the gym then. I I went to go do some weights and I, I jumped on the treadmill, got on Instagram for about five minutes and and thought, you know what? I, I was actually I was talking shit in that previous video. My my legs are feeling fine. I'm 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 telling myself, I'm telling myself mentally that because it's only been forty eight hours since the marathon, I could never have recovered by then. I'm never gonna be, you know, sweet enough to to go and do a 5k run or a 10k run I'm, I'm gonna need a week to recover you know like like these other guys these other guys that haven't done any training they go and do a marathon it takes them two weeks to recover they can't walk for fucking seven days and i might have felt like that yesterday but today i feel fucking fine i really do i feel fine i feel like i feel like i've come back great and i haven't done fuck all stretching i should have I'm not going to lie, I should have done stretching before the race too. Maybe I wouldn't have cramped, but I haven't done much, I haven't done any stretching since. Haven't done any recovery. I guess that's that's something I am going to bring into my my uh, my routine, is recovery. Rest and recovery, because if I want to keep pushing myself like, like I have been, um, I'm going to need that. And that's what David Goggins did, you know. He, he, ju he jumped off the couch, he thought, you know what, fuck it, I'm mentally strong enough to do anything. That's what he believed. And I, be I believe that. I fucking believe that firmly about myself. That I am mentally strong enough to do anything I set my mind to. As long as my body can actually carry me. Carry my mind and my mental strength. So, I've actually lost my train of thought. But I've come to you today with a message. Because I've just gone to the gym. Jumped on the treadmill. For five minutes, went on Instagram. Thought, fuck it, you know what? My legs feel good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually start running. I'm going to go and run. It's only 48 hours post post uh, marathon and I'm going to I'm going to start running. I'm going to go for a run, test these legs out. Test exactly what my recovery you know capabilities are. And I think I've got I think I've honestly guys, I think I'm I'm coming to terms with the fact that I've got fairly decent recovery um uh, capabilities. My body has has decent recovery capabilities. You know, I am learning over time with the different with the different training modes that I've been doing. And the different bodybuilding type training that I've experienced in the past, my body, as much as I haven't liked to admit it in the past, my body tends to lean towards, as far as genetics are concerned, 
endurance training. Even in the gym, you know, my sets of squats, I'd be much more, I guess, strong, much more effective. What is strong? Strong's relative, but I'd be much, much, much better, much, much more... I don't know, I think you can train your body for, for any specific type of training, but as far as genetics, you are going to be inclined to, to, to perform and to respond better to a certain type of training, and, 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 and that's endurance training for me, and that excites me, and so I've just gone to the gym, I'm going to fucking get back on track, I, I, I guarantee it, just gone to the gym, I've gone for a 10k run, 48 hours post-marathon, and I've gone and ran a PB. So I've got 47 minutes, 20 seconds. It's not a huge PB, but it is a PB. And I did have to fight through some stitch. I did have to fight through some some kind of a uh, bit dodgy feeling hamstrings, to be fair. I thought, shit, am I going to blow something here because I'm pushing myself? And then I, once again, thought back to what David Goggins did and what he said and how my mind is, my mind is also not only going to be strong enough to carry me through, but it's also going to be weak enough at times to try and stop me with certain little tweaks and things and feelings and, you know, little things going on in my legs, such as my hamstring. But, you know, you keep running for another kilometre and you forget about it. And then you might start feeling something in your, in your calf or in your, your hip or in your glute or something. And you just, you can stop or you can just push through. And today I pushed through. And in the marathon, I pushed through. I pushed through. I pushed through 10, 10 to twelve kilometers of of cramps. And that has set the benchmark not only for distance, not only for for, for intensity, but for for my ability to push through. I got so much out of that marathon; it's not even funny. And I've got so much out of that ten kilometer run that I just did before. I proved to myself that forty eight hours post marathon, I can do it. I can run another one. I could. Because mentally, I'm strong enough. I'm getting that mental strength that will one day allow me to complete my very first ultra marathon. And I suppose that is where this video is gonna, gonna end. And that, that's where this video series is gonna end. I won't be making any more videos about this marathon. It's been a hell of a lot of fun. I wanna thank you guys for being here. You haven't even watched the seven day out video yet, yet I feel like you have, you know, I feel like, I feel like we've done this together, even though none of you have actually watched this yet. So it's been, uh, it's been a good journey. It's, it's been a, it's been a journey and I've just like I've mentioned in this video over and over again, I'm feeling pretty passionate right now. I'm feeling pretty emotional. I'm, I'm all over the place, but the fact remains is that I've learned a hell of a lot about how much I can, I can do mentally and physically, how much I can push myself, how far I can push myself. And look, I'm going to leave you on this, man. This was an absolute gem. I went to the gym. This is the gym that I joined up in back in June. I've trained there all throughout my two bodybuilding preps. I've trained there throughout my running. They've seen me on the treadmill over and over and over and over again and all those times that they saw me on the treadmill in my prep for the bodybuilding shows has obviously culminated to me finally doing my first marathon and and I talked to her at the end because I'm actually leaving that gym I'm gonna quit I've been there for six months I've achieved a lot and I'm gonna quit I'm gonna move on and and she said you know she said you don't know how many people you've inspired you said she said you really don't know and I said fuck are you serious like because that that's fuel that is that is straight up fuel for me this lighting in here is terrible right now but look, she said, I promise I'm going in like 30 seconds. She said to me an amazing thing. It's something that actually no one has ever, ever, ever said to me in person before. And that is that you don't know how many people you're inspiring, Jacob. You don't know how many people you're motivating around here. And um, that is fuel. That is fuel. That is fuel to my fire. That, that. You know, to inspire, to, to inspire someone out there, to motivate someone out there, to change their lives for the better, just like I have, um, means a lot.
it means a hell of a lot. In fact, I can't quantify it. I don't know how much it means, but it means a hell of a lot. And to hear that from someone, you know, from the manager of the gym that I've been training at, meant a hell of a lot. So Meg, thank you so much, man. That 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 was awesome. And guys, I'm going to leave you now. So I, I bid you farewell. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. That was seven days out, five days out, three days out, two days out, one day out, race day. Some thoughts after my marathon and today's video. So we've got eight videos, man. I really hope you enjoyed because I certainly did. Peace out, guys. Have a great day.